Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. My name is Keith Baskell, UCMDB Global Support Lead. Today we're going to walk through the installation of Universal CMDB. The documentation is available on the Open Text Documentation Portal. The URL that you see, docs.microfocus.com slash CMS, will bring up all products related to the CMS directly. That being UCMDB standalone or off-cloud, UCMDB containerized, inventory discovery knowledge packs, and content packs. You can see the documentation for all of them in one place. Let's take a look at the CMS architecture. The UCMDB application server itself contains all the logic for the components listed. For example, reconciliation, enrichment, modeling, security, reporting. UD probes or universal discovery probes or data flow probes are the means by which data comes into UCMDB most of the time. Probes are responsible for normalization rules and running integrations and discoveries, and they have their own Postgres database. The UCMDB administrative user interface is the local client. That is where you can modify discovery, look at modeling studio, integration studio, and a host of other components. Finally, the CMS UI is the new HTML5 uh, user interface that is on a web browser. This is where you would access reports, policies, service models, dashboards, smart software analytics, and it includes the UCMDB browser, which gives you the ability to do widgets and to look up CIs. So the UCMDB server is the central component in that UCMDB deployment. It contains all of the business logic and functionality required by the administrator to examine data, to create TQLs, to create reports, that sort of thing. It is a J2EE application and it consists of the UCMDB server and the CMDB data. The CMDB can be shared with other open text or third party products to provide a singular unified model one view into your environment. Server requirements. Always make sure you check the documentation for the version that you're installing. You can use this URL to view the latest system requirements for UCMDB. Note the keyword latest. There are some general recommendations that I'll go over here. The UCMDB server itself is highly processor and memory dependent. It's recommended that you use the fastest possible processor as well as a, a good amount of available memory for the system. The CMS UI, that being the um, HTML5 browser, is also very dependent upon memory for performance. It's recommended you allocate as much memory as possible from the machine where Tomcat is installed. The data flow probe is also highly dependent upon memory and the XML enricher, which runs inside the UCMDB probe, can use a significant amount of memory for scan file processing. If you are running with very large scan files, you may need to allocate additional memory to the XML enricher. Support for storage area networks is available for the usable disk space for UCMDB, the data flow probe, and the CMS UI. You can install a UCMDB server with a storage area network as the disk attached to the server, but it's not highly recommended. Local disks, which are solid state in nature, and physical machines are the preference. You can also check the documentation for the database requirements, as noted by the URL below. Again, notice the keyword latest in there, which will bring you to the very latest version of UCMDB documentation. Generally, 
Oracle, Microsoft SQL Server, and Postgres are supported. The systems should be physical machines, and that database space depends on the scale. The larger uh, the environment that you are discovering, the more disk space that you will need. The same LAN segment is preferred. This used to be a requirement, but now it's more of a recommendation. UCMDB is a heavily database reliant computer system and will benefit greatly from increased speeds between UCMDB and the database itself. UCMDB uses the CMDB database for its persistency. During the setup, that new database can be created automatically by the setup, or you can use an existing database. That database provides an object-oriented data store for all UCMDB information, including information that is discovered, other CI information, user information, and class model information. CMDB is the central authoritative repository for configuration information. UCMDB is populated with configuration information from servers, databases, networks, and services along with their relationships. The UCMDB local client is a tool that enables you to launch the administrative user interface of the UCMDB server as a desktop application from inside the tool. A Java runtime environment is not required as the UCMDB local client ships with its own version of the JRE that is required for it. This tool allows you to manage the configurations from multiple UCMDB servers as well as OpsBridge servers or BAC or APM or other open text products from a centralized location. Most browser support was dropped for Java running applets, for example, Chrome, Firefox, and Edge. Uh, of the current supported browsers, Internet Explorer 11 is the only one that will actually allow you to run Java applets, but its successor, uh, Microsoft Edge, does not run Java applets. So those are deprecated. And this is why the UCMDB local client has been provided so that the local user interface may be available to users. A typical deployment usually contains a single application server supported by a single database. You could have multiple data flow probes going through a firewall and then accessing the UCMDB application server, which is both the reader and the writer, which is connected via JDBC connections to a database. UCMDB should not be installed more than one time on a server, even if the instances are installed in different folders or they're different versions. So only one UCMDB application per server. A typical high availability deployment involves two or more UCMDB servers connected through a load balancer which allows for redundant architecture. So users and data flow probes will connect through the load balancer to different virtual IP addresses, which will be redirected either to the UCMDB application server that is a reader or the UCMDB application server that is currently writing. Those can be connected to some kind of a database cluster via JDBC. What data should you have prior to installation of UCMDB? Well, you must have a master key. A master key must contain exactly 32 characters, and it must contain one of each of the following four types of characters. Uppercase, alphabetic characters, lowercase alphabetic characters, numeric characters, and some special characters like colon, slash, period, underscore, plus, minus, left square bracket, right square bracket. You also will need a key store password. You will only be prompted for a key store password if your previous installation of UCMDB that you're upgrading uses default passwords or if it's a new installation. Likewise, the trust store password will also be required. Once the user supplies the key store and trust store passwords, they are in a newly generated file called serverstorepass.conf. 
The password must contain eight to 16 characters and include at least one of each of the following four types of characters. Uppercase alphabetic characters, lowercase alphabetic characters, numeric characters, and the same special characters as noted above. Colon slash dot underscore plus minus left square bracket and right square bracket. You can also select to remove user access to the directories created once the server installation is complete. This is done for security purposes. Additionally, you will need your database information, the database IP address or service name, the HTTPS certificate if using SSL for your database connection, the database IP address or host name, a username and a password, for the database. Additionally, you can install a Postgres database locally on the UCMDB system, but this is not supported for production environments. That would only be for testing purposes. You will also need the admin, sysadmin, and UI sysadmin passwords. Similar to the above passwords, the policy is that the password must be eight to 16 characters, and it include at least one of the following four types of characters, uppercase alphabetic characters, lowercase alphabetic characters, numeric characters, and a special character, for example, colon slash dot underscore plus minus left square bracket and a right square bracket. After the installation, you may manually change the password from the JMX console or reset the password in the UCMDB local client under security users and groups. The installation workflow for installing UCMDB is first to set up the CMDB database server. That server must be up and running at the time that UCMDB is installed. Next, install the UCMDB server itself. You can extract the package on Windows and then double click the UCMDB server executable. If you get a message that the digital signature is not valid, you should not install UCMDB and you should contact support immediately. You need to choose the locale language and select OK, and then an introduction page will pop up. The license agreement needs to be accepted and you need to specify the installation folder. By default, that is C UCMDB UCMDB server, or you can choose a different folder. The folder must not contain non-English characters or spaces. Then select the installation type. If the database is local or remote, the database credentials, so for Postgres, Oracle, or MSSQL server, and then set up the additional database options. For example, if multi-tenancy is required or if you want search enabled. The master key then needs to be imported and the key store and trust store need to be specified. The admin, sysadmin, and UI sysadmin passwords need to be entered. And then the pre-installation summaries will display with the options that you have selected. If you're satisfied with that summary, click install. Once the UCMDB is installed, then you can install one or more Dataflow probes. While UCMDB does come with an internal Dataflow probe built into the UCMDB server, it is more used for integrations than things like discovery. Dataflow probes are more efficient than the integration probe that is built into UCMDB. Once the Dataflow probes are set up, then you can secure the UCMDB server. This is installing SSL certificates or things along those lines. Once UCMDB is set up and secured, then you can secure the Dataflow probes. Another thing that you can do is make sure that at the end of the installation that you do revoke the user group access from the UCMDB installation directory and the Dataflow probe installation directory. Once UCMDB is up and running and Dataflow probes have been installed, then you can launch the UCMDB server and access either the CMS UI or the local client. We'll now show a demonstration of a UCMDB installation.
Thank you very much for your time. If you have issues installing Universal CMDB, please contact our support team. Have a great day.